Hello, good morning. It's Jen Kay here from A Fragrant Offering. Today we'll be swapping out my March fragrance tray and putting out the perfumes that I want to try out for the month of April. So welcome. I'm glad you stopped by to show you some of the fragrances that I have been missing and I'm ready to try out again for this next month. You can follow along over on Instagram. I post a lot of photos of perfumes that I take. I do perfume polls and stories and my Instagram channel is a.fragrant.offering and I put a lot more content over there but I'm trying to make some YouTube videos and share content over here on this platform as well. I hope you enjoy today's video. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take off all the fragrances from the top tray, these four that I had the last month, and then I will be showing you what I'm going to be putting back on for the month of April. So the first fragrance I'll be putting back up on the tray for the month of April, and I'm super excited to try this one out again. It's an old favorite, one that got me into fragrances in the first place, and it is Tom Ford's Black Orchid EDT. This is just a, such a strong, rich, floral fragrance, and I love wearing it um, when I'm working out in the gardens in the springtime, in the evenings. It's just beautiful and rich. I know it's a hard one. A lot of people have a hard time loving it, uh, but I really enjoy it. I think it's a love-hate kind of fragrance. And then another one that I'm excited to try again is a good orange blossom fragrance, and this is from John Paul Gaultier, and it's the Classic Essence fragrance. Look at that beautiful bottle. And this is just a beautiful orange blossom classic fragrance, so I'm excited to have this one back in my collection again. Last month, I struggled some with having a cozy nighttime fragrances, so I decided to pull out one that I really like to wear um, at nighttime. It's a nice vanilla, just soft vanilla citrusy fragrance by Lara Mercier, and this one is Amber Vanilla. I got this one really inexpensively at one of the discount stores. It didn't come with a cap, but these are hard to find now. And it's just an inexpensive fragrance, but super easy to wear and just smells nice and comforting and delicious. And then the final one that I've chosen to put up on the top is one that I have got picked up last year, but haven't worn a lot. I really do love the scent profile, so I really just wanna wear it more and this um, one is by Paco Rabanne, and it is Olympia. It's just kind of like a amber vanilla with like kind of salty notes to it. Really good fragrance. So I'm excited to be wearing this one this month. I just wanted to highlight one that was a fragrant uh, favorite for me last month and this one is just such a beautiful watery floral spring-like fragrance i really enjoy wearing it it's the oh so decadent version of mark jacobs decadence and i know these are hard to find they're kind of discontinued now but i really enjoy wearing this one in the spring so now a uh, moving forward to the month of april what i will be putting out on my tray um, last month I kind of missed having some of my favorite amber florals so you'll be seeing more of that being themed in this tray and the first one that I'm going to be putting back on is a favorite uh, classic fragrance loved by many people and it's from the house of Guerlain it's a lavender um, just beautiful feminine fragrance and it is the Mont Guerlain EDP so I want to wear this a little bit more this month. And then also um, to put beside it one that's a little bit lighter and easier to wear 
I enjoy wearing this one to work, especially in the spring and summer. And it is an EDT version of Mongerlan, and it is the Bloom of Rose EDT. And this is just um, less ambery vanilla and more sparkling bit of rose, a lighter, and very easy to wear on an everyday basis. So I will be, I'm excited to be wearing this one again. Also one that I really enjoy wearing that is kind of a signature scent type of fragrance is Elibre Intense by YSL. And this is just a beautiful evening lavender floral, beautiful fragrance. So I'm excited to be wearing this one again this month. And one that I recently got, I have get the five fit fun boxes. And I recently got, I was excited that they actually put a fragrance in the box this month and or for the spring season. And this one is commodity gold. So it is new to my fragrance collection, but I'm gonna be putting it out on the tray and wearing it. And I believe this is the expressive version of that fragrance. So let me know if you've tried this one and you enjoy it. I'm excited to start wearing it and see what I think. Right, and it's not unusual for there to be one or two fragrances that I'm not quite ready to get rid of from the month before. And one of those that happened this last month um, was the fragrance Gucci Bloom. And this is one of my favorite spring tuberose Floral fragrances, it's really simple, but it's easy to wear. I can smell it all day long, and it's just a beautiful honeysuckle floral tuberose fragrance, and it reminds me so much of spring. So I will be putting this back out again on my April fragrance tray. One that's very similar to this is My Way by Giorgio Armani. And this to me is an Easter perfume. It's new life, it's spring, and flowers and so I'll definitely have it on my April tray so that I can have it to wear in the Easter season. The next one up is a newer one to my collection that I just picked up this year and I did want to get more springtime wear out of it. It's Irresistible by Givenchy. It's a beautiful bottle. It's got the cut glass in the back. And it's a nice rosy springtime perfume. So I'm excited to be wearing this one and trying it out some more this spring in April. And then going back to one of my favorite gourmand, just really feminine and sweet smelling fragrances that I have been missing. It's an almond sweet fragrance and that is Ellie Saab, Girl of Now. That's such a beautiful, heavy bottle. The detailing on the top is amazing. And it smells delicious. So I'm super excited to be wearing this one again this month. And then I always keep a separate side tray on this one. I often keep fragrances that I'm not done trying from the month before or just classic signature scents that I want to keep out for more longer seasons and not just wear for one month at a time. So this month there will be a one new fragrance that just came into my collection and then three that were there last month that I want to continue wearing. So the new one that just came into my collection is from Giorgio Armani and it's the Ocean di Gioia fragrance. This is an aquatic, oceanic type fragrance. And I'm excited to kind of try it out more and see what it's about. I was needing some more summery scents in my collection, so we're gonna give this one a try. And then a favorite from last month that's just beautiful coconut floral. It has beach and summer vibes, but sometimes it's a little bit heady and heavy to wear in the spring, in the summer. So I prefer to wear it in the spring, and that's this one by Dolce and Gabbana. It's Dolce Garden. And this is just a beautiful 
coconut floral fragrance. But like I said, it can get a little bit sticky at times, but in cool weather, it's just beautiful. And one that I'll often wear to work or just every day when I wanna feel nice and clean and sophisticated is Chanel a number five low. This is a powdery fragrance, citrusy, clean and fresh, and a bit vintage smelling, but beautiful. And I really enjoy this type of fragrances. Another one I picked up this year that has just really quickly become a favorite is this Van Cleef and uh, um, Arpels, their Iris version of their fragrances. And it has kind of the Van Cleef and Arpels vanilla that's familiar, but then it has the powdery Iris background notes. And although it's not strong or overpowering, it kind of sits in the background and it's just a really beautiful scent and I love wearing it as a skin scent. I wear it to bed a lot. Um, but yeah, this is just beautiful fragrance that I'm really enjoying. So we'll definitely be out again this month. All right, so there you go. That concludes my March to April fragrance tray swap out. I'm super excited about April and trying all these new fragrances. I'm gonna just give you a last minute close-up view just to kind of look a little bit closer at what's been selected. Thank you for listening, for watching, for being interested today. Let me know if you have any questions about any of these fragrances. I hope you will follow along. Um, like and subscribe if you'd like more content like this. Also, you can follow me along over on Instagram at a.fragrant.offering.